Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the solar system, which includes our star, the sun, and everything that is bound to the sun by gravity. That includes our planets, dwarf planets, dozens of moons, millions of asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. The planetary system we call home is located in an outer spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is not just a candy bar, it is the galaxy that is home to Earth and our solar system. The Milky Way galaxy has about 200 billion stars and countless other objects besides. The Milky Way is only one of billions of other galaxies in the universe. Our solar system is about four and a half billion years old. It is huge. If it was the size of a soccer field, the sun would be the size of a peanut. Our solar system is shaped flat and round like a big disc. It contains eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are known as terrestrial planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are known as the gaseous planets. We used to think that Pluto was a full-grown planet, but now scientists say it is really a dwarf planet. I brought us something special to help us learn about the planets in our solar system. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. A marble to represent each planet. Okay, I think we are ready to look closer. The sun is a huge, bright ball of gas. It is actually a star and it is almost 4.7 billion years old. The warmth of the sun makes it possible for life on Earth. The sun is the reason we have seasons, ocean currents, weather, and climate. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It takes only 88 days for Mercury to circle the sun compared to 365 days for Earth to do the same thing. The ancient astronomers thought Mercury was so fast they named it after the speedy Roman messenger of the gods. The surface of Mercury is a lot like the moon's. Also like the moon, Mercury has very little atmosphere to stop meteorites and comets from crashing into it. Venus is the second planet from the sun. Venus is about the same size as the earth, but it's so hot no one could ever live there. The air on Venus is very thick and filled with carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid. The surface of Venus is marked by lava flows, quake faults, and craters. Almost every single feature of Venus is named after an accomplished woman from all over the world. The Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the only planet in the entire universe that we know of life existing. Earth has hundreds of names in many languages. And unlike other planets in our solar system, Earth only has one moon. Earth is home to people, plants, and animals because it has water and the right kind of atmosphere to support life. Mars is known as the red planet. Mars is named after the ancient Roman god of war. Mars is a dry, rocky, and cold planet and is the fourth planet from the sun. Mars has been visited by more spacecraft than any other planet. Mars has polar ice caps that grow and shrink with the change of the seasons. Every so often, a gigantic dust storm covers the entire surface of Mars. Jupiter is the most massive planet in our solar system. 
Jupiter is named after the ancient Roman god who was supposed to be the king of all Roman gods. Just like Neptune, Saturn, and Uranus, Jupiter is a gas planet, which means it has no solid surfaces. Strong winds blowing in opposite directions on the surface of Jupiter make the stripes around it. The stripes have many storms that have been blowing for hundreds of years. Saturn is also a gas planet. It's made up of mostly helium and hydrogen. Helium is the gas that makes balloons float. Saturn's rings are mostly made of clumps of particles. Uranus might be the strangest planet of all because it spins on its side. Scientists think an asteroid may have run into it long ago, causing it to tilt. It is the third largest planet and the seventh from our sun. It takes 84 years for Uranus to go around the sun. It is also a gas planet. It has 11 rings and some of the brightest clouds in the outer solar system. Neptune is probably our windiest planet in our solar system. Winds fly through the clouds of Neptune at more than 1,200 miles per hour. Neptune orbits the sun once every 165 years. You can't see Neptune without a telescope because it's so far away from Earth. Let's talk a little more about our solar system. Solar means sun and all of the planets and space objects that revolve around one sun are called a solar system. Earth is just the right distance away from the sun to support life. Other planets are either too close, too hot, or too far, too cold. If the history of the universe was squeezed into 24 hours, our solar system wouldn't appear until the late afternoon. Here we can see the Earth, along with the other planets that also receive light and heat from the sun. It's a big family called the solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Each planet stays in a fixed orbit around the sun. Each planet received a name when it was discovered. The planets are represented in proportionate size and distance from one another and from the sun, but the sun is not represented in its actual size because we cannot represent it in relationship to the planets on this chart. This chart is just way too small. I wonder what else you can discover about the planets and our solar system.